In this product review Wednesday, could this be the pedestrian safety system you've been waiting for? So the guys at Avantech have sent me this wireless doorbell and you might be saying what on earth has that got to do with electric vehicles? And when they contacted me and suggested that I do a review of their wireless doorbell kit I asked exactly the same question but then I thought maybe we could put this to use. So they were originally wanted me to review a mains powered doorbell you plug the receiver in to the wall and then the transmitter is wireless you put it stick at the door press the button it rings and i said if you've got a battery version where both bits run on batteries i might be interested because i can think of something that i can do with it let's take it out of the box and have a look and i'll explain more because you probably think i'm a little bit crazy right now so here we have it's fairly simple we have this is the receiver And the transmitter, the bit you put on the door. If we pull the battery thing out. And we even have some batteries in here. Batteries included, excellent. If you really need a doorbell, you can, there's links in the description if you want to buy one of these from Amazon. They're only about £16, £17. Pound. It's quite cheap for a doorbell, really. And that's if you don't want to put it to an alternate use, which I'm going to show you in a moment. Comes with the screws and stuff here to mount it on the wall if you want to do so as well. Batteries are in. If I press the transmitter, it's pretty loud. I don't think, you, I think you'll definitely be hearing that. It does have a volume control on it as well, and it has various different melodies. That's a pretty good one. I like that. Okay, and I'm not going to go through them all, but. What I think we can do with this, oh that's quite a good one as well. Okay, that's enough. Um, what I think we can do with this is turn it into a pedestrian safety system for my Renault Kangoo ZE. Now, modern EVs after about 2018 need to be fitted with a pedestrian warning device so that you're driving down the road, the car makes a bit of an artificial noise so that you can hear it coming. Otherwise, you literally just have the sort of slight hum of the motor and the noise of the tyres. So at slower speeds, it can be a little bit problematic. And using the horn to alert people of your presence can be a little bit obnoxious and can be taken the wrong way. Let's see what we can do with this. First up then, I need to mount the receiver underneath the bonnet of the van so that it is in a place where you'll be able to hear it if I press the button as I drive down the road. Um, ideally, I would probably mount it inside the bumper near where the horn is, because that'll be, it'll stand its best chance of being as loud as possible, but it is pretty loud, so I think it'll be all right. I'm just gonna cable tie it in place here, and then if I decide it's gonna be installed more permanently, I'll look at mounting it in a bit more sensible manner, but for now, trust the old cable ties will do the job. There we go, so that's nice and secure, it's not going to move around, it's not going to fall out and it's in a location where it's not going to furl anything under the engine bay so we're pretty confident that that's not going to get in the way of anything and it's cause a hazard in itself so if I close the bonnet now take the trusty 
transmitter, press the button, and we can hear that it works. So let's go and try it out. So I'm sat here in my Kangoo ZE, I'm just going to drive along, and who knows, there might be a pedestrian gets in the way. And how will they react if I use the horn instead of the friendlier doorbell? And as you can see, the reaction wasn't particularly pleasant. Now look what happens if instead of using the horn, I use the Avantec wireless doorbell to alert the pedestrian to my presence. I think you'll agree that was a much more pleasant interaction. And that's it for this review and alternative application of the Avantec wireless doorbell. I'm sure you can agree it actually works really well for a purpose it really wasn't designed for. And, to be fair, makes a pretty good doorbell as well. If you want one, there's a link in the description for both the battery powered and the mains powered versions. Please do check it out. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.